Okay, guys, I thought that uh, it was going to give me a little bit of a countdown, but it didn't. Okay, so um, I wanted to make a video to show you guys. If I don't have your font, it's going to uh, redo it to something else. And that's going to be more important as we work on your projects. Not these exercises, but this is a message I get. So there's two things you can do. You can... Um, you can embed the font you can use type kit so i guess three things and then the other thing is you can break the font let's see you've got everything um locked which is good but you can see if i select this i get this box that has points on the ends of it that means it's still editable um let's see if i want um to send this to somebody and i want my font to stay as is i break apart that's command B on my Mac keyboard, but you have to do it twice. It's still editable at this stage. It gives you individual boxes. And the reason is that it, for that is kerning. Um, so if you break it apart twice, it turns it into um, an image basically. You see all those little dots. Now I can get in there. I can use my eraser tool and go right through it. Or if I wanted to do something really wackadoo, I could edit the font like that so I wanted to show you that for future use but um, in the meantime in the meantime that looks really good looks really great looks really fresh I'm not a fan of the uh, live trace it's good to know how to do it but I would not put it in your portfolio I had a student just recently um, she had a whole bunch of illustrations and they were all done in live trace and uh you know of course that doesn't look like a lot of effort is put into it again i'm not saying that about you but in general um don't do it so see i don't have this font and it's going to display as something else you see what it does definitely don't want to do that so katie i'm glad to see you changed um the canvas size that's gonna you're gonna be glad you did when we get into this bouncing menu thing but again just break your type and if something was on this oval i'm not seeing it at all is it a button what is it so it's important to look at it at other on other computers i know that's hard but as far as the um assignment you guys are both going in a good direction let me know if you have any questions